Hello, my name is Ricardo Garcia. I work at Igalia, and today I'm going to talk about VKEXT MultiDraw. It's a Vulkan extension that was published this year, and as part of Igalia's collaboration with Valve, I had the chance to participate in its release process by reviewing the specification text in detail and providing feedback, and by creating uh, conformance tests for it in the VKGLCTS project. So, um, BKEXT MultiDraw is an extension that was created to cover uh, a gap that existed between the OpenGL and Vulkan APIs. OpenGL has the MultiDraw arrays and MultiDraw elements draw calls, which didn't have an equivalent in Vulkan. So Mike Blumenkrantz, uh, working as a Valve contractor, created the extension to be able to use it in sync and to ease implementing that part of OpenGL on top of Vulkan. Uh, but the extension can be useful for more people and situations, obviously. So with this extension, you can record uh, multiple draw calls without changing a state between each call. Uh, using a single function call. So it avoids the typical CPU overhead caused by checking common buffer state, which is draw call. In fact, if you're working on a Vulkan implementation, you can also use this extension as some kind of reference to improve the efficiency of a state checking in draw calls, for example. Um, the new APIs introduced by the extension are similar to the indirect family of draw calls, but, but um, they don't need a GPU accessible memory. So they complement the existing set of draw calls nicely. Um, the extension adds a couple of uh, new draw calls. Uh, CMD draw multi is equivalent to calling uh, CMD draw multiple times in a row, and CMD draw multi index is the equivalent when using index buffers. Um, the mechanism is the same in both cases. Given the original draw common function, the extension extracts a couple of arguments to a multi-draw information structure. Uh, these will be the draw parameters that will change in each uh, draw operation. You can store the, uh, an array of those structures in host memory and use that array with uh, the new multi-draw function by passing the number of them and a pointer to the array as arguments to the new function. Uh, then the common buffer, um, the instance count, and the first instance uh, arguments don't change between draw calls, and they have the same value they would have in the normal uh, draw common function. The remaining argument is a stride that indicates how many bytes to step over to find the next information structure in memory for each draw call. Uh, so normally it would have uh, would be the size of the uh, structure, but you can also use other values. So for example, if you use zero, you only need one structure, which is used over and over uh, draw count times. But you can also use, uh, you can also interleave information structures with other data in memory, and then use a bigger stride to jump over the extra data. Uh, the equivalent function with index buffers is pretty similar. Some arguments are um, moved to a structure. Uh, then you use an array of structures in host memory and pass the count and a pointer to, to the new function. And some other arguments don't change and would have the same value as in the non-multi case, which leaves a couple of arguments to be explained. So the stride is similar to the previous case and the vertex buffer, uh, sorry, the vertex offset pointer is optional and lets you specify, specify a, a constant value for the uh, vertex offset if you know that parameter is going to have the same value in every structure in the array. Uh, this way you can, if you want, you can save some memory and you can also save some CPU in the application and in the driver. Uh, the extension had input from more people than the ones you see here, but I thought it was fair uh, to give at least a shout out to Mike, who created the extension and provided the implementations for Anvil and Red V, which I used when creating the uh, conformance tests. Jason from Intel, who was involved in, since the beginning and reviewed the initial version of the specification, and also to Pierce Daniel from NVIDIA, who was involved early in Kronos and reviewed the specification and provided an implementation of the extension outside of MISA, which is uh, pretty cool, and I also used it when uh, writing the extension tests. And with this, uh, thanks for watching, and see you!